hi. I'm talking today to Roz Astaire. Roz is a weight management coach. Hi, Roz. How are you? Hi, I'm good. Thank you. Roz, tell me a little bit about what a weight management coach is and in what areas you can step in and help people. Well, a weight management coach is really somebody who gives a helping hand and guidance to somebody who just needs to be um, a little bit accountable to somebody. So it's not somebody who tells you what to do. Rather, it's like a little bird sitting on your shoulder um, giving you guidance. And what are the benefits of working with a coach? Well, I think there's a lot of benefits. I also work with a coach when I have my own weight loss uh, struggles, and I found it invaluable because I, I somebody was focusing on me, just me, and I could get things off my chest, talk about issues that, you know, friends and family get bored with, um, and it's it's so beneficial to be able to just get things off your chest about any um, triggers and obstacles that you have around food and eating, and sometimes you can just see things more clearly. So a coach is somebody to bounce off and to look to for, um, you know, for, for um, advice, really. And why do you think so many people fail to follow through with diets? Um, I think people fail for lots of reasons. Um, and where the coach comes in is it's being accountable to somebody. You know, you know that in a week's time somebody is going to check you out, talk to you, find out, you know, whether you've done well or not so well and work it out, work out why. So being accountable to somebody is, 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 is the clue. Often, you know, people will lose the weight and then they cannot keep the weight off. They revert to putting it on or to bad eating habits. What is the key to maintaining weight loss? That's a really hard one. You know, maintaining is just as hard as losing. So when you've reached your goal, um, then it's a good idea to check in with, with your coach, sort of not as often, perhaps once a month, once every six weeks, something like that. Maintaining means you need to stay focused and you need to be persistent um, and make the effort. When it comes to weight loss, you know, everybody will emphasize how you also need to exercise as well. What would you say to people who say that they don't have time to exercise or uh, to make special portions of food for themselves? Well, I'm, to be honest with you, somebody who tells me they haven't got time indicates to me that actually that they're just not in the right place to focus on, on, on their weight loss journey. I think, you know, I come across a lot of people who are really busy. They cancel appointments, they change appointments, they're constantly hassled and harassed. And I can see that actually looking after themselves is, is sort of not really high up on the priority list. Um, I can't help everybody. You know, if, if somebody comes to me and says, you know, I just don't have time, I, I, I think it's, somewhat hopeless to be honest you have to make the time you have to decide what your priorities are and if, if, if one of them is weight loss particularly for health reasons then you have to reorganize your time and just coming back to that point you made about being in the right place do you think that you really have to be in the right place to start losing weight or do people often use that as an excuse you know, I must admit, I do think you have to be in a place where you are willing and open-minded to make some little changes in your life. You know, if you do the same old thing all the time, you're just not going to lose the weight. So, yes, you do have to be in the right place, but sometimes talking things through with somebody initially can open your mind and can help you get into the right place. When I say the right place, you know, I don't mean 
big time. I mean, really wanting to lose the weight and, and wanting to know how to do it and then making an effort to make those changes. What about the emotional reasons why people eat? Where does that come in and how do you address those sort of issues when you're coaching somebody? Yeah, well, that, that's a biggie as well. I mean, you know, we all eat actually um, for all the wrong reasons and um, 99% of people uh, do eat for emotional reasons. Um, at this day and age, the biggest one, of course, is stress. Stress is a big factor in why people uh, do tend to overeat or why they're overweight. Um, you know, all sorts of things can happen. Illness, family member, boredom, somebody at work has had a go at you. Um, you know, a friend and you have had a quarrel. There's so many, many reasons um, for um, emotional eating. And where I come in is trying to focus the person to try and get to grips with what what is causing them to go to the fridge or into the kitchen. Um, if it is for emotional reasons, we work around that. We work through that so that the, the person can understand what the trigger is, and then we can work out a strategy to um, get away from eating and, you know, to redirect one's emotions and thoughts towards something else rather than the kitchen. Thank you, Roz. Thank you so much for talking to me today. My pleasure. Thank you.